Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dmitry Vinik. I'm a senior software engineer at Salesforce, and my talk is titled Companies which need DevOps but not know it yet. It's a long title, but the main idea, which I'll highlight closer to the end, will be pretty clear and small. So, um, before I start going into depth for this talk, I'd like to highlight which companies I'm talking in particular. So, to have some generic category for the entire talk, I have to categorize those companies by the simplest criteria, which I chose to be employees, um, basically the size of the company. So the small organizations are usually companies which have 50 or fewer employees. The medium size are 50 to 250, and the large organizations are, uh, men, people say, are above 250 employees. So what it means for DevOps is that uh, in a small organizations, because they tend to be of a startup uh, style organizations, they are usually created post agile boom, and as a result, they use all these rapid development, ra rapid deployment methodologies, and that actually means that DevOps are actually used in that uh, in those organizations. For the large companies, um, because of their scale, they cannot afford having the manual processes doing monitoring, alerting, or metrics analysis. They have to use DevOps, whether it's dedicated people, department, or just processes that are done by someone else. But the medium-sized companies are the ones I'd like to focus on during this talk. Those companies uh, probably been created way before the Agile became a thing, as much as DevOps, DevOps as well. So they're probably also using the waterfall, and they, because of the scale they're still operating on, they still can afford having the manual people, people who are actually doing all these alerting notifications uh, and the manual monitoring of services done by hand. And I'd like to illustrate it by my own example. Basically, when I was just off the university, I joined the organization doing this health check, which basically meant that I would manually go in a, every four hours to some servers to check their services being up or down, check the disk space, do some very simple manual analysis of the data they have. And what I figured is that I, I honestly detested that. Uh, doing the manual work like that for a person with a technical background is just uh, mind-blowing. So what I started doing is the company did not know that they needed DevOps, but they hired me as a health checker. Um, and so what basically I started doing, I tried to automate manually the work I tried to do. So a big, a small example, I knew Java at the moment, so I, I wasn't expert in DevOps at all, so I used Java you know, to check the disk space. If it's above some threshold, I send the email to my management. And the management started seeing the benefit in DevOps practices, even though it's done probably wrong using Java uh, and quite plain, but they saw, oh, we can actually monitor our disks and drives and m lots of other uh, stuff done automatically, and it increases the frequency of checks, it's more reliable, and uh, actually this is where I was introduced to people making mistakes all the time during those health check. When they check the service, they usually put the service down. So I was able to convince the management myself that DevOps, they needed DevOps. And what I'm trying to deliver in this message, in this talk, is that um, basically it's not the title that should drive you, it's the mindset of DevOps, so I would argue that um, DevOps is not just the position you get, it's the way of thinking. So regardless of what position you hold, I was a health checker and I still try to automate, still try to go beyond the title that I had. So it still means you're doing what you've been tasked to do, but nobody says how well you can do it. And if you're a developer, an engineer, you can still do things that DevOps do. Uh, if you're writing some application, consider to make your you know, um, API more verbose, log things, make it easier to troubleshoot make it you know, better locked to the server so it can, can be tracked. Or as one of my colleagues said, if you write an API, connect it to the command line so that it can easily be used right away. And especially I think it's not just beneficial for the organizations, it's also beneficial for young people because they can find their own calling, not just by the position they've been hired at, but you know, I tried DevOps, I might have been pursued that after the fact. And I believe that many of you started at some, you know, you've been a developer, you've been a manager, but then you found your real calling as a DevOps. So I would really argue that the companies that don't know that they need the DevOps, but they actually need them, are great positions for you to grow and for you to make those companies grow. So um, I believe I have five more seconds, but thank you everyone for your attention. Thanks.